carrier and a modulator at the same time. So you, you got to, I think, is it carrier modulator? I think that's how it works. why it's important to get vaccinated. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's becoming unhinged. That's what that says. Our work is never over. <laughs> I think your brain is, is so pattern seeking that this is just like breaking every part of it. It's like a matter of taste. It's like, would we have heard that sample again later? Like, probably not. <laughs> Welcome back to Professional Musicians React. My name is Jack Conti. I'm joined today by some amazing professional musicians. Before we kick it off, we're gonna play you our new theme song that we just wrote right now. Professional. 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 Musicians React. All right, wow. that's it. That's our new, I think we, we nailed it. Nailed it. Let's introduce our musicians for today. We've got Ryan Lerman, my co-founder in Scary Pockets and also uh, was musical director for uh, John Legend and many others. We're, we're doing more, I'll, I'll save Ryan's full resume for future episodes. We are joined today by the one and only Theo Katzman, a multi-instrumentalist. That sounds so official when I say multi-instrumentalist. I did but bring my card. What, yeah, what, do, yeah. what, do you, what do you call yourself? I call myself a musician. You know, he's a musician. Multi instrumentalist. Theo's one of the best freaking drummers and, and guitar players uh, around. He's also in the band Thanks. Wolfpack. Um, we've got Ariana Powell here that we're joined Woo. today. So Ariana has played in the house band of American Idol. She's played with Dua Lipa, and there's lots more credits. Ariana's resume is very long, um, but, but we're so psyched to have you all here with us today. Thank you for, for joining us. And we're all friends too. And we're right all, we all, yeah, we all have been roommates so and cool. yeah, we all lived together for many years. No, that's well, not true. Yeah, I yeah. lived with Theo for two years and all I got was a stupid shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're wearing your Theo shirt. I mean, when yeah. in Rome. All right, before we jump straight into it, I want to know what's a great song, record, band that you're listening to right now. I really like Jack Antonoff's new band Bleachers. With the song Chinatown featuring Bruce Springsteen. Man, I was listening to uh, Andy Schaff last night and just sonically, the tones that he's getting and the songwriting's cool. It's, yeah, I'm, I've been really inspired by that. She laughs at me, says, what was that supposed to be? I say, I'm sorry, I'm from a different part of the country. I've been, uh, I've been listening to John Prine. I've just been, like, starting from, from the beginning of Prine. And uh, I'm, I'm reminded right now of a song called Living in the Future. We are living in the future. I'll tell you how I know. I read it in the paper. Years ago. Uh, Big Thief. Yes, favorite band. <laughs> really? It's your favorite cool. band? <laughs> yes, love them so much. Maybe I love you, is a river so high. Maybe I love you, is a river so low. Today we are listening to one of the greatest bands of all time. Can I say that? Scary Pockets? <laughs> <laughs> Daft Punk. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're listening to. One of the greatest bands and one of the greatest maybe recordings of all time. Harder, better, stronger, faster. Uh, Harder, better, faster, stronger. Faster, Fuck, stronger. I just messed up. Does anybody get the <laughs> you order? You just messed up one of the God greatest damn it. songs Shit. of all time. Okay, let's edit that out. Thanks. We're listening to better, stronger, faster, Pastor, harder. Starter, Pastor, fester, fest, faster, 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 stronger, 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 smarter. Smarter. <laughs> Okay, let's let's give the track a listen. Harder, better, faster, stronger by Daft Punk. Also cool that there's this is animated, so there's still no idea of who Daft Punk is. Yes. What an amazing idea of like this is a band, but but it's not people. Yeah. That's yeah. so cool. Right. Amazing. It's robots. Yeah. The band is making those people. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. Makes us. Oh, 
stronger. Wow. 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 Yeah. yeah. Nice so work, good. Daft Punks. Yeah. First things you notice. I think like the just starting with that high pass filter, mm. and then like when it like actually drops is just really impactful, and then it kind of plays with that filter throughout the song. Yeah. This yeah. this part you mean. Out. Yeah, so they just have dance. a high pass on the entire mix. It sounds like a high pass and then also It's also it's actually kind of like a a notch pass, right? Because there's the highs are not yeah. as crisp. So like they they roll off the cymbals so too. Nice band pass. Mm. Yeah, it's band like a band pass. pass. Oh. It's a band pass. Yeah. This was the first time I noticed those uh I think there's like an acoustic guitar doubling oh, yeah. the electric. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Yes. Like that's acoustic, right? You know, you know a distorted acoustic with electric. It sounds I mean, like a synth kind of too. Yeah, it it could it kind of sounds like an electric guitar mic'd to me. You know what I mean? Cool. But it could it could be acoustic. I think it's uh, either way. I think it's a really cool um, production technique totally. to. In, I, include in funk music or mm -hmm. funky stuff is like the acoustic has a lot of ha can have a lot of hair on it mm -hmm. you know and especially mm -hmm. like a little ha distorted or with doubled with a guitar I love doubling electric and acoustic yeah it sounds like two things yeah right and it's like a guitar sound that have you guys heard the original sample do you know the original sample no cola bottle baby Wow, it's the whole thing. It's the whole it's song. It's the whole song. Edwin Bird song. It's the whole thing. That's Edwin. crazy. They didn't, even the bass, they that didn't. classic <laughs> wop. Wow, Edwin. Edwin. I hope he got a Grammy. AKA, <laughs> AKA Daft Punk. <laughs> Here's what I think is like, da this is quintessential Daft Punk form here. They take idea one, and they present you idea one in the song. Then they present you idea two, and then idea one again, and then idea two, and then idea one, and then idea two. And then part two of the song is idea one and idea two at the same time. Mm. They're showing their mashup prowess. They're like flexing. But but the thing is, That's you don't really cool. realize- I've thought about that before. Like Justice does that too. It's classic Justice form. Idea one is this ascending thing. Idea two is this descending thing. Mm. Right? Da 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 I can't mm. fucking sing it, but you know what I mean. Yeah. And then they put them at the same time, and it's this super jumpy thing, but it's just one ascending line and one descending line. And the whole beauty of the song is that they they show you idea A, then they show you idea B, and then they rotate, 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 and then at the same time. Work it, make it, do it, makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Work it, harder, make it better, do it, faster, makes us stronger. Yeah, it's so satisfying. I mean, so it's, satisfying. it's around. It's just around. You know what I mean? Like that. Oh, yeah. That technique is is as old as time. Yes. Right. Yeah. But it's a cool, I've never uh, put that together, that they're making use of a different form than we're used to hearing in, on the radio. You know what I mean? I wanted, to, I wanted to point out that there's, I feel like there's more, um, I haven't listened to this in a long time and I haven't listened to it focused in this way, but I'm noticing that there's a lot more, it's like, for sure it's gridded. It feels like it's locked into a, a grid groove. So a gridded groove is, uh, what I'm referring to is like when you're working in a music software program, you can tempo map everything so that it's perfectly in time. And if you do that, uh, I think there's a danger in having it be too perfect. But there's these moments of like yeah. not perfect. Mm -hmm. And the, I think that's, I just want to say, I think that's really important, especially in today's, how easy it is to make something perfect. Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. actually fatiguing when, th when the brain just like, sort of lets things become the same all the time, you know? I feel like this is the rock and roll version of electronic music. Wow. Right? Yeah. It's like they left in the soul and the guts. Part of the funk of it is like, it's there's some stuff that's like off a little bit. Even you know? the way the samples are chopped and you yes. can hear the clicks. Well, yeah. It's like they don't crossfade the clips. Like that's they cool, they lead, you know, like- Work it, make it, do it, yeah. makes us- I never noticed that, he's like, <laughs> 
Yeah, it's like you hear uh, it's a hard chop. I kind of I kind of uh, I'm no Daft Punk aficionado, but and I doubt that they thought about this, but it is kind of genius that these French guys would be the ones to like really make I mean not that they invented the the vocoder, but it takes their accent kind of out of the equation and makes it right? Makes it kind of accessible oh, on yeah. a, on a more like massive worldwide dance dance clubby scale. What's interesting is they like how they did this, right? They just laid out this vocal sample and it's kind of the whole song. And then the music changes under the formants of the vocal construction, right? So the, the, the formants, the words remain the same, but the solo is just different notes and timbres applied to mm. that vocal construction. But it's the, ah, da, 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 when he goes into that thing, everything basically starting at this point, Okay. The only thing that changes is like the pitch associated with each word, but the words repeat indefinitely at this That's point. That's so cool. So he's he's do you think that he's essentially they're playing the words and then he's just doing this? He's not t- he's not talking and playing at the same time. I think they so- I think they laid out the words and fucking drank and smoked and soloed for 4 hours. And then picked the best sections of the solo and chopped it together until it was craziness. <clears throat> I think they also, when it when I hear this, there's some arpeggios and things that are not playable. So I think they they Program. used a sequencer. Yeah. <coughs> and they put and they they mapped MIDI notes based or mapped a sequencer into the vocoder. I'm pretty sure that what's happening in this Daft Punk song to make the words sound like that is a device called a vocoder. A vocoder essentially applies the formants of mouth shapes, vowel sounds, onto a synthesizer. Instead of the synthesizer just playing a note, it goes and then you can change the vocoder so that it goes that's what a vocoder does. It makes synthesizers sound like they're talking for part of the solo section and then just outputted audio and then chopped combination of playing and pitch bending and then sequenced MIDI notes and then just strung the whole thing together. Doesn't happen again. You know, even within the phrases. The Different sample. Oh, there's a hi-hat choke. It's a cymbal, cymbal crash choke. What yeah. the fuck? So this is all those changing elements thing we're talking about, right? You're like, okay, new idea, new section's gonna have to come. You're right. And then, nothing wait, there. It's not there. It's not like A, B, A, B. Even within the drum part, within the whole phrase. Yeah. So they're constantly, they're just, they're. I, I'm now I'm convinced they're just like, okay, we're gonna mess with something. Yes. Actually, multiple things, every single section, yeah. and throw you off. Like, that's analogous to the six chunk phrase it thing to totally me. It totally is. It's a non-repetitive repetitive element that just makes it feel fresh and yeah, makes it feel weird. like you're getting taken on a ride. It, that, it almost like it's supposed to throw you off. Yes. I think your brain is is so pattern seeking that this is just like breaking every part of it. Thousand percent. They're so also cool. layering on top of the sample. Yes. Uh, so like I wonder if that's why it sounded like there's two guitars, right? It's because they probably played that guitar part again so that they could manipulate it. A thousand percent. Unless they just got this guy, they were like, Edwin, send us the stamps. <laughs> we are going to r- win a Grammy. <laughs> That's Five. just an LFO. Oh. That's like a vibrato on pitch, right? For the, just those. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. It's just like a, they put LFO on pitch He's becoming there. unhinged. Yes. That's what that sounds Our is. work is never <laughs> over. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yo, wow, I never thought about it like that. And then it's off. That, that, yeah, that the, like hi hat feeling is just yes. a like clip of air or something. <laughs> yeah. I actually think that some of that might be improvised, man. I don't know. Oh, totally. Like, totally. It makes it. It's not a, it's again, not a pattern. Oh, he's done up. He's, he's doing that. But the vocoder is only triggering when there's a note sample and a voice sample at the same time. Otherwise the vocoder plays silence. Right, right. That's why this, the voice sample sounds like it's missing in certain places. Right. Because Wait, what? Oh. So the way the vocoder works is it's only going to make noise when there's a, 
a, a carrier and a modulator at the same time. Whoa. So you're pl- so you you got I think is it carrier modulator? I think that's how. Which is why it's important to get vaccinated. <laughs> uh, Wait. Here. Wow, that did sound <laughs> very very. <laughs> you don't want to be a carrier or a modulator. Yeah. If you have the voice track and then you have the the um the MIDI track, you're gonna hear it when they're both happening. But if they're improvising, he's not holding notes the whole time. So it's going to sound like the voice sample cuts out for a second. Cool. Yeah. In other words, if he was just holding down one note, you would hear the exact same thing. No, you just hear hear one note. Work it harder, make it better, move it faster, makes us stronger. Oh, yeah. So that's why it's sort of like, work it better. Yeah. It's not like. Yeah. Yeah, They're not shifting the words around. He's not doing that. Yeah. I got you. And it's not, it's also not going work it harder. Make yeah, yeah, it yeah. Better. So you're saying they played the vocal like bu- 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 the it, vocal make it, is one track, Whoa. it's one sample looping over and it's over. It's one sample, and people. The- <laughs> Think about it. The vocal is one sample. This is like the the big moment, that, right? It, that's right. Is this that moment? This is I think that we're moment. having. It's like whoa. That's yeah. the sh- real shock yeah. here. Okay, so we're gonna take some video questions. This is from Eskimoji, who is a member on our Discord. Nice. So here's Eskimoji. 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 What's up? My question is about a harder, better, faster, stronger. I was wondering if you were familiar with the prominent use of Edwin Bird's songs, Cola Bottle Baby. Wow. And whether you had any insight or opinions around sampling. Do you draw a line between transformative use and stealing? Uh, and where does that lie for you? Well, let's get this guy on the show. What are we yeah. doing here? <laughs> yeah. This guy knows yeah. more than we do. That's a great again. question. Yeah, Eskimoji. That's a really good question, yeah. I, well, I will say my visceral reaction, again, when I heard that first sample the first time, I was like, oh, they didn't do shit to that sample. Like, but, they just, but they really did upon the close listen, right? Yes. Well, hang on. Yeah, I think also, though, I mean, the real, well, at the foundation of that question, at least to me, is like, well, did you credit and pay the person whose art you're recontextualizing? And if the answer is yes, and it was consensual, then it's like, you know, if there was permission granted, then I think it's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Also, I think it's, it's not like, theft. it's like a matter of taste. It's like, would we have heard that sample again later? Like, probably not. Like they did the work of like looking through and finding it and kind of finding and feeling that magic and then kind of bringing it to light. So I'm not sure. I, I don't know if I personally would draw like a hard line with how much you manipulate or build on it. I think that's like there's some artistry in the choice. I completely agree. And and I think largely remix culture at this point is unavoidable and uh just on track to happen. It's already happening, right? Where everybody's taking samples of this and taking samples of that and chopping it up and fair use this and now it's on YouTube and advertisers can claim it. But there's like system mm-hmm. I don't necessarily think the systems and and laws around sampling are set up to deal with the pace of culture right now. I think culture has outpaced legislation when oh, it comes yeah. to sampling. Not even sampling, yeah. all music. I yes. mean, think about like all of these lawsuits about, you know, the Robin Thick blurred lines. Like, okay, music uh, 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 used to be like, okay, it's just the only thing you can copyright is lyrics and melodies. So like theory. Right. Right? That, that used to be black and white. Yeah, yeah. That can't be black Now it's anymore. not it's not that. Now it's like no pun intended. It's a blurred line. <laughs> Maybe blurred lines was actually about copyright infringement. <laughs> That's what the song's message is really about. But it is. I sort of feel like there have been enough of these lawsuits where everybody's talking about it and then it goes one way. And now I don't know anything anymore about what the laws are surrounding, you know, what's copyrightable and what's not. Yeah. Would you not want, would you, would you set up a world where Daft Punk can't do this? No way. Like Daft Punk's going to yeah. do it anyway. Yeah. And they're going to release it anyway. And so the world has to kind of account for this. And then furthermore, would you want to set up a world where Kanye can't then take the Daft Punk song and do something else to it? Right. No, that's also yeah. going to happen anyway. We, we need, we, right. We need sampling for well, there to be people, people so have many been genres of music. sampling since way before recorded music. I mean, you'd hear a guy playing the lute at the, at the village square. You'd hear him do a thing and you'd go pick up your lute when you got home and you'd You'd start, you know, melodies are like constantly, you yeah. know. Mm. But can we say, is it, would you guys agree that, look, if, if Ryan Lerman writes a song, it's obviously his song, he releases it, and then someone else goes like, I, they just do, they release it, essentially, <laughs> and they like do some vocoder over it. Yeah, and they take the whole, Yeah, but would it, would it not be cool if, I mean, I think that person or entity should be like, hey, 
we're crediting you. Uh-huh. That's all. That's that's the key here. Yes. Like it's still possible to credit people. I mean, if you take, I don't. You know what I mean? That's what makes it not theft. Totally. You need permission, and the person needs to get paid. Yeah, it's not. It's not the great feeling when you're like, did this other artist release like uh, my song and but, does not even ask me? Right. But you Weird. don't need permission. Anyone can cover a Theo Katzman song. Totally. They don't need and, your and permission. I'd but. love it if you did. We're all for sampling as long as you're ask nicely. Fair. If you pay me there enough, you, you don't even there have to ask nicely. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed that. My name is Jack Conti. This is Theo Katzman. We got Ryan Lerman and Ariana Powell here. Thank you for watching. If you like this, please subscribe to our channel. We're coming out with new videos every week. Uh, if you have ideas for what we should react to next, please leave us a comment. And uh, who knows? Maybe we'll pick your idea and react to the thing that you want us to. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Arrivederci. <laughs>